The armed conflict in northeast Nigeria has been over a decade now, and millions of people have been displaced. This perhaps makes it one of the world's most complex humanitarian emergencies, and that's according to the International Committee of the Red Cross. With that, soaring prices are affecting the livelihood of these displaced Nigerians. There's more in this report. Millions of people have fled from their homes and lost their livelihood. That's because of the ongoing conflict in northeast Nigeria. Sadly, soaring inflation is not making the situation better. They can hardly eat. The inflation rate climbed a four-year record of 18% in March 2021. The International Committee of the Red Cross ICROC provides microeconomic grants to vulnerable group of people who lost their income due to the ongoing armed conflict. However, the steep inflation of the past year has hit them hard. Meet Aisha Omar, a widowed mother of eight from Borno State, who was affected by the conflict that left her and her children displaced. <laughs> Ali Kolomi, who is a green trader, has a similar experience. I was born in the city of 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 ICRC Deputy Head of Subdelegation, Sarah Aumomohi, spoke on how these Nigerians from the Northeast have suffered continuous conflict and insecurity. And here is what ICRC plans to do in helping these communities restore their livelihoods. Today, the strategy at the ICRC is to continue exchanges and conversations with communities, authorities, but also other humanitarian actors on the ground to find sustainable ways to help community, communities help restore the dignity they once had by restoring their livelihood, taking back their livelihood. As of 2020, more than 16,000 people had lost their income because of these conflicts. They have received cash for investment through the ICRC microeconomic grant to start a business. Also, about 173 entrepreneurs received grants from the Tony Elumelu Foundation Partnership. Hopefully, these gestures would go some length in helping the affected people cope with the impact. Ngozika or HSE for Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.